This is the Tesla one month overview reading for November 2022. It's currently October 23rd, 2022, 9.34 p.m. Eastern Time. The overall theme and, and trend direction for Tesla in the month of November, we have a decline, a period of decline that ends with a fast sudden move to the upside. Uh, it's crossed with um, advice, there's multiple, to be cautious, there's multiple false bottoms. Behavior around the high for the, the highest high for the month, we have a rally along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance, meaning a secondary resistance, resistance and then pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. Um, and there's a trade on the day of the high, there's a, the highest high, there's a trade opportunity involving um, something to do with a male, uh, male ruler of nations. Behavior around the low, uh, the lowest low, we have multiple field attempts to break through key resistance. Um, Let's check out uh, let's check out October's Tesla reading. So October started here at this vertical line. We have a uh, month's high on the first day. Looks like we were pretty much on point. Technically, there was a little bit of a higher high uh, on day two, um, but you can see there was a high and a low right on on the third because then we opened higher than the low. So it's like a we made a new. Uh, we obviously have a high because we fell, right? And we make a new local low because the following day we have another local, like, well, we have another move higher. It's not higher than this last high, but it's higher than the last low, if that makes sense. Um, looks like I was off a little bit on this. Well, technically, we, we went down to this level and then rallied back up, and then we, uh, the following day, rallied even higher. You could technically say new low, a uh, new high, a new uh, prominent crest there as well. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there really is. It's just it's it's broken down in such a way that it's hard to see. Um, and then on the 12th, on the 12th we had a prominent looks like a prominent crest and a prominent high. And there, okay, so there's a, a low there, and then. To a high on the 13th. No, 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 that seems a little bit off. 12. Um, well, yeah, that one's a little bit off. A little bit off. You could say that that, that um, it should have been on the 13th. We decline to this low, and then we open up much higher, new local high. Um, on the 14th, we had a significant drop. It was the biggest drop of the month thus far. Um, we got the universal decline there, and that was after breaking through horizontal resistance and staying there briefly before breaking down through that price level. Um, I, it looks like I was off on the low as well. I have I have a low um, for the 17th, and it looks like it was actually on the 14th the day before over the weekend. So here, low, and then on the 17th. Um, There's a prominent crest around the 18th, 19th, as well as a prominent low. So you can see crest on, at, on the 18th. And then on the 20th, we have another low, 20th. Um, so this is pretty solid, aside from a little, I mean, it's, it's, it's on point, it's just a little, I don't like to. I don't like to be it to be questionable. Even it should be solid, solid, solid. But hey, I'm not going to get them all 100%. That's just not how the world works. In any case, still way better um, accuracy and detail than any analyst on the planet. Um, and that reading was done. What was that Tesla October? That reading was first conducted. It was created. The photograph was created on September 20th, 2022. So well before October. Alright guys, so as far as November goes, we start off the month, um, there is a sideways rotation on the first, um, on, along the key resist, uh, key support level on a one month chart, we rise to meet the, the nearest critical resistance, and then we fall back down to continue rotating, so rotating sideways, it looks like um, towards midday or end of day, there's a decline off of the day's high. Um, and then the following day, on the sixth, or on the second, we have a prominent low for the month. Of, uh, and out of that that low or early decline, there's a notable move to the upside from the bottom of the range to the top of the range on a on a note, on like a sizable scale, at least the one month chart kind of scale. Um, we have another prominent high on the second because um, we go from a low back to another local high, and then on the third we move through 
horizontal, move through a horizontal resistance today above the green and then break back down with a full retracement through the same price level. Looks like there's quite a bit of price level, uh, price uh, ground covered. Um, I'm also advised that we'll see a lower price level than below that we see on the second. Um, but a lot of price movement to the upside on the third, followed by a full retracement. On the fourth, we have erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level. Um, we re revisit a, past, a recent past opportunity at a crest. Um, and it looks like we'll probably rally into some sort of breakout on, on the seventh, like between the fourth and the seventh. Um, and then there's unicursal hexagram energy um, around the seventh and the eighth. So um, I'm, I'm advising to be very careful here. We have an opportunity in the midst of a rally on the seventh to open up a short position, protect against long positions. And then on the eighth, we have a decline through multiple support levels on a one month chart to really stand out. Um, that's, uh, and it's gonna be a significant amount of price change here to the downside on the eighth. Uh, I'm also advised to be cautious. Um, there's a correlation to the prudence card here on the 7th. So in the midst of that rally, may, we may be tempted to, to, to chase the rally, but that would be unwise. There's also a swing trade opportunity. Um, aside from opening up protection, um, the, the swing trade opportunity involves a move higher that will stand out on the one-day chart. Um, on the 8th, oh, we did the 8th, but at the end of the day on the 8th, it looks like we have um, a little bit of a rally that starts. Uh, and then we, on the 9th, decline um, with sideways fluctuations to the downside, um, followed by a sideways fluctuations with the bearish trend on the 9th, um, and then it turns more into a, a notable decline on, on the 10th, breaking through uh, so a support level that we recently already broken for months before. Um, recently, that's like usually within a week on a, on a one month scale. Um, and then uh, there's a swing trade opportunity on the 9th involving a notable move out of oversold territory or to fill a previous gap up, or excuse me, a previous gap down on the on the scale of a one-day chart on the 10th another swing trade opportunity involving um, a move higher that'll stand out on a one-day chart um, and i'm advised to be cautious there around that move higher because it is a down day on the 11th uh, it, it appears that there is a notable move to the upside we move higher first followed by a notable drop on the, on the 11th. This, will, this, will really, this drop will really stand out. Um, and it looks like it probably continues uh, right into like the, the end of the month, the decline continues. But um, on the uh, 14th, we have some bullish behavior and a swing trade opportunity involving um, volatility after meeting a resistance level on a one day chart volatility that increases with volatility moving forward in into the day. Um, and some bullish behavior that's really a fake out. On the uh, 15th, we have uh, a rally that'll stand on a one month chart, uh, offering an opportunity to open up a short position. Uh, there's also advisement to be cautious there. Again, it seems like at the, at, when we're moving to the upside, these spikes seem to have um, some, some caution advised here. So like, we have a correlation to the prudence card here. There's a rally with the opportunity to open up a short position. This is a down day, but it starts with a little bit of a move to the upside. Um, and the lows here are not the lowest lows either. My sense is that the lowest low is probably the 22nd or the 23rd, but we'll get there. On the 16th, out of that decline, there's a fast sudden retire mark in the end of that decline. Um, and then on the 17th, we continue to we, we start breaking down again. We break down through uh, a resistance, excuse me, break down through a support level to meet a second support level. This is on the scale of a one-day chart. We bounce along that support level for a bit and then we break down through multiple support levels. And then there's a bit of a rally in there 
early in the day on the 18th, maybe at the end of the day on the 17th into the 18th, but early in the day on the 18th, there's a rally. Um, it does end with a um, with the halting of the bullish trend marked by a sharp decline through a key support level on the one month chart. It looks like the decline from the 17th ends with a fast sudden move higher, and then that rally ends with uh, a decline through a key support level, and then on the 21st, we revisit a past recent past opportunity at a support level when we I have a period of sideways rotation along a key support on a one month chart and a sharp dip that will stand out within that period of sideways rotation will stand out on a one month chart. Um, we come to likely a day's a month's lowest low here on the 22nd. Um, and out of that lowest low, we do create a new local high um, with some sideways, uh, excuse me, with some bullish price swings. There's a swing trade opportunity there in, involving um, a male ruler of nations and some sideways rotation along a support level uh, price swinging, actually. On the 23rd, uh, there's a notable decline. We break down through uh, a, a support level that we had recently broken down through before. There's a universal hexagram energy there, too. Um, looks like we probably start the day near resistance and then we break down pretty hard and that, that very likely it's either 22nd or 23rd very likely is the low for the month um then we have the holiday uh 24th is closed 25th we have a half day we should see some sideways fluctuations with a bearish trend um or sideways S formation, I should say, early in the day on the 25th, I'm advised to open up some protection. Um, we meet a resistance level, uh, an important resistance level on the 28th um, on, a, on a scale of a one month chart, and then we break down from that resistance level with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down. Um, on the 29th, we have a, a decline that increases with momentum moving forward into the end, uh, into the day. Um, and there's a swing trade opportunity involving a notable move higher on a one-day chart. It would stand out um, a notable move higher out of oversold territory or to fill a previous gap down. And then that that rally um, or that little bit of a rally out of that decline there. Um, excuse me. Yeah, decline continues. And then... Um, there's a completion of a bullish trend the following day on the 30th. So somewhere between the end of the day on the 29th and the beginning of the day on the 30th, there's a rally, um, and then that rally completes, and there's a swing trade opportunity involving a male ruler of nations and more decline. Uh, the, swing, the sneak preview card for the following month of December for Tesla is a period of volatility um, with a sharp dip that stands out within that period of volatility. And when I say dip, I mean like a decline that comes back. A, a, a sharp drop would be it just drops, it doesn't come back. A dip would be it drops and comes back, if that makes sense. Um, and that's Tesla for November 2022. Let me know what you think, my friends, by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, guys, support the channel and support the world by paying a little bit forward and paying a little bit backwards towards, towards the channel. But whatever you do, make sure you spend that money out of love and the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold in all directions, my friends. I'll see you on the next one.